Today, we'll be covering the basics of Pandas library, one of the powerful tools for data manipulation and analysis in Python. As part of our learning, we'll also cover some lead code problems to solve us better understand Pandas core objects, its attributes, and common methods. Let's begin with the data frame. It's a 2D object similar to a SQL table or an Excel spreadsheet. A data frame can store data in rows and columns, and there are multiple ways to load data into it, such as from CSV file, a delimited text file, or even a Python dictionary. Next, take a look at another important pandas object, series. A series is essentially a 1D array-like object, and it can be thought of as a single column of a data frame. In fact, when you select a column from a data frame, you are essentially working with a series. To load data from a dictionary, the keys become the column names and the corresponding values become the data in those columns. Here the letters and numbers become the column names and the list will be the data in those columns. We are selecting numbers from a dictionary, constructing a series object. Now let's start solving the basic pandas lead code problems one by one. First question is to create a data frame from a list. We simply pass the list to the data frame constructor and specify the column names. Next question here is to return the data frame size. To get the size of the data frame, we can either use Python's built-in len function or the data frame's shape attribute. Next problem is to display first n rows where n is 3. We can use the head method to display first 3 rows. This problem is about selecting the data where it meets a specific condition. The condition here is that student ID must be 101. Here lock method can be used to select a row based on the student ID label and then we display only the name and age columns. Next is creating a new column named bonus and values for this column is employee salary into two. We use insert method to create a column. And len method for the new column to appear at the end of the data frame. The problem is about dropping duplicates and keeping only the first occurrence. To remove duplicate rows while retaining the first occurrence, we can use drop duplicates method. By setting the keep equal to first parameter, we ensure that only the first instance of each duplicate is kept and the rest are dropped. Next question is to remove rows with missing values. To remove rows containing missing values, example none or nan in a specific column, we use drop na method. We specify the subset parameter with the column name to ensure that only rows with missing values in that particular column are removed. Setting in place equal to true modifies the existing data frame directly without creating a new one. Next is modifying salary column value. To double the values in the salary column, we can use element-wise multiplication and update the column directly. This problem is about renaming the columns. We can use the rename method and provide a dictionary that maps the original column names to the new ones. To apply the changes directly to the existing data frame, we set in place equal to true. This problem is about changing the data type of a column grade from float to int. We can use as type function and pass a dictionary to map the column name with the data type. In our case, it is int. Next 
Next question is to fill in the missing values as 0 in quantity column. Here we use fill na function and in the value section we pass a dictionary with column name as quantity and the value to be filled with as 0. This problem is about concatenating two data frames vertically, meaning the rows need to be combined. We use the concat function to combine the given two data frames. This question is regarding reshaping the data such that each row represents temperatures for a specific month and each city is a separate column. We can use pivot table function and set columns to city, index to month, and values to temperature. Next problem is to melt the table, that is reshape the data frame from wide to long format. We need to reshape the data so that each row represents sales data for a product in a specific quarter. Here we use melt method, wherein id wears is product. These are the columns that you want to keep unchanged and this column is essentially used to identify each row after reshaping. Value wears is the quarter columns. These are the columns we want to melt into a single column named quarter. Value name is the name of the new column that holds the values from the melted value wears columns. In our case, the column name is sales. The final problem is to filter animals with weight greater than 100 and sort them by weight in descending order. We can use the lock method to filter rows that meet the condition. Then we can use the sort values method to sort the filtered data frame by the weight column in descending order by setting ascending equal to false. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.